27th, Saturday. We're gonna get it popping. I got a lot to talk to y'all about. But I got a question. What do y'all think about Rihanna? I know a lot of people have a lot of different opinions on her. Um, her music, I like her music. Let me keep it real. But her as a person, I'm not too sure. I think she did something to Chris Brown. I'm telling you, because I heard. Guess what I don't heard. Y'all know. I'm Juicy Renee. Um, I do the Gossip Report for 88.7 FM CT number one college radio station. Yes. And um, I give the Gossip Report every Saturday, whatever. So I just basically decide what it is I want to talk about and I talk about it. And then I give y'all the juice on what's goody out there. So make sure y'all tune in. You never heard me. Listen, anybody that really knows me, you can, you can meet me for five minutes. You know I am a trip. A good one. A good trip. Hold on one second. But more importantly, I like when us... I ain't even gonna say black people. I just like when everybody shows everybody love. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is out to be successful in life and do what they do and I ain't mad at that. So everybody should show love. You know what I mean? Alright. So according to I think it was bossup.com, Vivian Green. Everybody knows Vivian Green. I sung her song Emotional Roller Coaster. You didn't see it, you didn't watch the video. Who the hell are you and where the hell did you come from? Go watch it and go comment on it, even if you don't like it. Even if I sound like a horse's ass, comment and say you sound like a horse's ass. Go ahead. Nah, seriously though. According to Bossa.com, Vivian Green is coming out with a new album, April 6, 2010. It's called Beautiful. I listened to her new single called Better Man. So if anybody knows the history of Vivian Green, she was having problems with her man. I think actually she got a divorce or something like that, yeah. I had read about it, but this was years ago, so I forgot the details and everything, but she was having problems with her man. I think they are divorced now or whatever, or not together if they were never married, and she's moving on now, so that's what's up, because I love her singing, so if you guys go out there, cop that album, if you gotta get the bootleg, go ahead and get it, at least you'll know the words to her songs or something, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, Vivian, I tried. But it's a recession. And yes, it is still a recession. To all y'all motherfuckers that think y'all rich and y'all boiling, it's still a damn recession. Because I'm broke as hell. Now what? Now. Okay, I gotta talk about Barack Obama because I gotta talk about Barack Obama. He's the black president. The first black president. I'm black and I'm proud. And I'm gonna talk about Obama. I'm gonna talk about Obama as much as I want to talk about Obama. Okay? If you don't like it, I don't give a damn. Now, I want to talk about Obama because I heard, according to Vasa.com, that there is a poster, a political graffiti poster in Venice, California, which is a part of L.A. In Venice, California, there's a black bar over Barack's eyes, and under it, it says hype. Because you know his slogan is hope. So under it, they black out his eyes, and then under they put hype. Why? Why is it okay for people to be so disrespectful to the President of the United States? I just burped, excuse me. But seriously, the President of the United States? Like, what's the problem? How come we, he can't get no respect? And I'm not throwing out the race card because I'm not, but I'm just saying, is, is it really because he's black for real, y'all? For real? For real? Seriously? Y'all want to call him a nigga so bad, don't you? I hate that nigga. I just hear people behind their closed doors right now. My ears is burning. Damn! You know what? Am I the only one that realized that Bush was a dush? Bush was a dush. Bush was a dush bag, okay? But nobody disrespected him with his stupid old ugly ass. Seriously. I, I'm not kidding, like, it pisses me off. He sent our fathers, our mothers, our kids out there to fight. Half of them died. You know, like, he just doing, uh, he did unnecessary shit and, like, put us through a lot. That whole 9-11, that changed all of our lives. And I don't understand, and I, you know, we all heard that Bush was down with that. How can we support?
someone like that. And here we got him out of office and Barack got majority of the votes, okay. White people included, vote for him. Great, I'm glad we could all come together for once and, you know, unite. Because besides 9-11, I think Barack's um, inauguration, his his presidential vote, and everything, I, th I think that that's when the world came together. Majority. Okay, so, I don't understand. I just think that we should lay off a rock, give him the support he needs. He did pass the health care bill. I mean, he's doing things. He's making a change. He's doing what he got to do. Let's give him a chance to do what he got to do. Okay. And now, I got to talk about Rihanna again. I got to go back to Rihanna. Rihanna. She's supposedly with Matt Kemp now. But, like, the press is calling her a hoe because she dated Kanye, Kid Cudi, T.I., and Drake all within a month's time, I heard. Well, she slept with him. She chopped him down. She umped him. But I'm like, why y'all calling her names? Because Pimp C and Gucci Mane and Trick Daddy and T.I. and Drake and all of them, Trey songs. I mean, they smashing chicks left and right. Way more than that. Within a month's time. Within a day time span. And they get props. You know what I'm saying? Why are we so biased and you know why are we what am I looking for the word I'm looking for it's sexist is that it sexist I don't know let me know yeah like what is it like you know what I'm saying cause she got a vagina and y'all got a penis it's okay for y'all and not for us cause y'all doing the sticking and we doing the humping and gyrating or whatever I don't understand like I just don't understand it but according to ZimbabweStar.com um, yeah, Matt Kent moves into her mansion or whatever. I think he's training in Arizona right now, but when he's done with all that, he's going to go back and, you know, to her mansion or whatever and chill, which is cool with me. I mean, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? He eats his own, but I, you know, like, Rihanna, I'm not, I don't, I don't really like her because I think she fucked with Chris Brown. I think she did something to him. She fucked with him. She fucked with him and fucked with him and, and made him do that to her. Now, I'm not, you, you can't make somebody do something. Okay. Okay, because I know a lot of people are going to have a lot to say about what I have to say. I really don't give a fuck. But I think Rihanna um, instigated the situation between her and Chris Brown. I think she did something. She was running her mouth too much. She, might, she, she had to put her hands on him. Oh, and I heard that his bruises was worse than hers. But his, his, like, his pictures didn't get leaked like hers did. I heard she beat the hell out of him. Shit. But he getting on the side because he's a man, and men are not supposed to put their hands on women. That's one thing I don't like, men. Do not put your hands on a woman. Do not. Because we come from you. If you read the Bible in the book of Genesis, God made us from Adam's rib. He made Eve, not us, but he made Eve from Adam's rib. Eve is a representation for all women in certain ways. Because if I was Eve, and I'm not putting Judge Eve, I'm not Judge Eve, that sounds crazy. But if I was Eve, I wanna, I wanna eat that, I wanna eat from that tree, I don't believe, because I, I just have strong, such a strong belief in God. But you know what? When you're put in that situation, you never know what you're gonna do, and a lot of things I've done in my life can be, can go back and relate to that. So I'm not even gonna get on that, because. The Bible and God is a heavy, strong subject with me, and I can talk about God for days. But back to Rihanna. Let's stop judging Rihanna. Let's stop calling her a hoe. Let's call her a playerette. She's a playerette. And I'm not mad at her. The only thing I'm mad at her about is that whole situation with Chris Brown because she made him look like an ass. And you know, when you truly love somebody, when you, I, I, I believe in true love. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna love, love, if not, get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I believe that she should have, I don't know, she should have kept it more gully. You know what I mean? But that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm going to talk about for today. This is my very, very, very first webisode. So I'm not sure the ones in the future will be probably shorter or longer or more better than this. But hey, I freestyled it. It is what it is. You get what you get. I'm in what I am. I am who I am. I do what I do. I do what I do. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm bugging right now. Anyway, it's a beautiful Saturday. Make sure to, oh, I just spit everywhere. Damn, I told y'all I was live, live in the back. Oh, well, y'all gonna see that shit, too. But anyway, 
Make sure you tune in to 88.7 FM tonight, 6 to 8. It's every Saturday, 6 to 8. Me and Bobby Blaze, y'all. We got the hottest hip hop and R&B. We play excuses, excuses, exclusives. We show love to all the local artists. If you got a track or something, or you know somebody that got real good talent or whatever, that needs to get on, get some ear shine or whatever, you want people to hear them, whatever, get at us. JuicyRenee at gmail.com or BobbyBlazeThemUp at gmail.com. Send us your track. Make sure it's clean. Make sure it ain't whack. Because if it's whack, it's going in the trash, yes indeed, get on your shit, step your game up, chicks, and I want to tell you female something, y'all, I can't stand when I see a chick with some dry ass lips, y'all, got something for you, hold on one second. Yeah, lip gloss, lip gloss, y'all. Lip gloss. My niece bought me this. My, I, you know, I can't find my other one. My other one. But Neutrogena is really good. You know what I'm saying? Vaseline. You know what I'm saying? You don't do nothing else, y'all. Moisturize them lips, man. For real. For real, y'all. Don't be walking around with them dry lips, man. I can't stand that. I had to tell my niece, y'all. Where's your lip gloss, Jalene? Where's your lip gloss? Damn. Anyways. Y'all enjoy y'all Saturday. It's March 27, 2010. This is my first webisode, but guess what I don't heard? I am Juicy Renee. You always rockin' with the pip and the juice. 88.7 FM every Saturday, 6 